Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this channel I'm going to talk about certain stocks that I'm interested in and companies that I'm interested in and there could be a few videos on the law since I am a law student right now. In this video I'm, I'm going to talk about Lilium. And Lilium is a company, a German company, German aerospace company. Um, I'm going to talk about the company itself, about the stock, about the controversy surrounding this company and whether you should invest in this company or not. Now Lilium is a German aerospace company which is the developer of the Lilium jet which is an electrically powered personal air vehicle capable of VTOL flight and VTOL is vertical takeoff and landing and VTOL actually is, a, is an industry right now there are many companies that are part of this movement and the aircraft is one that can hover, take off and land vertically. Now Lilium was founded in 2015 by four engineers and PhD students in Germany. In October 2019, Lilium released footage showing the jet in full flight, taking off vertically and transitioning to horizontal flight. And Lilium also announced the completion of its first manufacturing facility in October 2019. November 2020, Lilium announced a partnership with the developer Tavistock Development Company to build a 25 million vertiport, which is a place where these uh, jets can take off and land, uh, and that will take place in Florida. Now, the Lilium jet is expected to be launched for commercial operations in 2024 and should be distributed at that date. In March, 2020, Lilium raised 20, 240 million in funding, led by a company named Tencent. Now, Lilium also confirmed that it was, it was re redesigning its aircraft, but you, you can see the latest um, design on the company's uh, YouTube channel. They have a video there of the jet taking off and landing. Um, one of the this one of the Airbus uh, employees, actually the CEO of Airbus, which is Tom Anders, joined Lilium's board of directors in January 2021, and in August 2021, which is like two months ago, uh, this is actually a huge um, this is a huge turn for Lilium. Uh, a Brazilian airline Azul called Azul signed a letter of intent for 220 Lilium Jet 7 seaters and uh, I, I guess they w when the distribution begins in 2024 tw 220 Lilium Jets would be uh, sold for Azul um, let's talk a little about the controversy surrounding this company before we talk about the stock in January 2020 um, there was a report published that stated that Lilium could not meet its stated aircraft performance goals and would only be able to fly for two minutes at a time. And this anonymously report, anonymously, anonymously written report, was dismissed by the company, but later backed up by four German aerospace academics who wrote that Lilium was using brilliant PR to create an illusion to attract investors. And in February 2021, Forbes published an article citing a number of former employees that stated the development of Lilium's aircraft was dodged by problems and that the flight test campaign made minimal progress. Now let's talk a little about the stock and the listing. Uh, like many companies, Lilium has taken advantage of the market's general upward trend to go public. Lilium completed its PAC transaction in September with Quell Acquisition Corporation and the Lilium LILM tickers started trading on the NASDAQ on September 15, 2021. The SPAC combination brought the company 584 million in gross proceeds and Lilium now company boosts the market cap of 2.84 billion. Now many analysts put a an outperform rating which is a buy on LILM and his or their uh, price target implies uh, almost 
140% uh, upside to $24. And the price right now is 8.99. Now the average target is $20.50. So from $8.99 uh, to $20.50, that is a, a big upside. That is a big potential upside. And that can happen in the coming year and uh, well that's it really this is the introduction to lilium to the stock to the controversy whether you should invest in this stock or not is depending on you whether you should you can take the risk whether you believe in this company whether you have seen the numbers and could decide upon that but for me i think i'm willing to take the risk and uh, yes, that's it really. And uh, we'll see you in the next videos.